Oh, hey guys. Oh, one moment. Hello, Sarah speaking. Welcome to Kids Church at Home. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my friends. I hope you guys have had another great week. Yeah, I hope you've had a great week too. I'm really excited for what we've got planned today. No, not you, my, my friends. I'm filming a video. We don't have plans today. Oh, you want to hang out? Cool. Anyways, last week we learned that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah, forever. Isn't that so cool? And that means that as we learn different things about him in the Bible, there are still things that are true about him today. Look, I really need to go, but thanks for inviting me to hang out. I'd really love to. Bye. Sorry about that. My friend just called to ask if I wanted to hang out with them. That was super nice. And it also makes me think about what we're going to talk about today. Jesus is our friend, so we're good friends to others. Let's imagine we could be good friends with anyone we want. Anyone in the world. Or maybe even from an imaginary world. If I could be friends with anyone at all, I would be friends with Olaf. Because I think he's really funny and I like warm hugs. Who is someone that you wish you could be friends with? We may not be friends with famous or imaginary people, but we do have the opportunity to be good friends with a lot of people. Let's see what we can learn about friendship from Jesus in the Bible. Can you find the book of Matthew? It's in the New Testament. It's the very first book in the New Testament. You know, the Bible isn't just an ordinary book. It's God's special book. The Bible is one way God shows us his heart and teaches us how we can reflect him. God is here right now, ready to talk to you. Let's hear what he has to say as we pray together. Dear God, help us listen for you today as we learn about how Jesus is our friend and about how we can be friends to others. Thank you that you teach us whether we're learning at church or at home or through a video. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, we're learning that Jesus is our friend, so we're good friends to others. In our Bible story, the person Jesus befriended was an outcast. That means that he didn't fit in and had a hard time making friends. Some outcasts you might know are Lilo and Stitch, who had also had trouble making friends, or Barley from Onward, who was really excited about things that some other people didn't understand, or Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon, who wasn't good at the same things that other people were good at. All of them were outcasts. What's one word that describes what it would be like to be an outcast? Maybe you said that being an outcast is lonely. Maybe you said it's scary. Or maybe you didn't say anything at all because you don't know what it's like to be an outcast. Sometimes people are outcasts because of how they look, how they dress, or how they act. In our Bible story, a man named Matthew was an outcast because of his job. Matthew was a tax collector, and people in Bible times knew that tax collectors took extra money, more than what the government needed, to keep it for themselves. They stole people's money. Would you want to be friends with someone who stole your money? Talk about your answers at home. Usually, it's the people who leave someone out who are being mean. But in Matthew's case, he was kind of the bully. He took people's money. Even so, Jesus invited him to be his friend. Let's see what happened. Do you guys still have your Bible? We're gonna look in Matthew chapter nine. Also, if you have your workbook, you can open it up to today's page. In Matthew chapter nine, verse nine, it says, as Jesus was going down the road, he saw Matthew sitting at his tax collection booth. Come, be my disciple, Jesus said to him. So Matthew got up and followed him. 
A disciple is a follower or a friend, someone who wants to learn from a teacher or a role model. In Jesus' time, disciples followed teachers everywhere they went. They hung out together all the time. It can be really fun to hang out with friends. Matthew and Jesus thought it was fun to hang out with each other too. Listen to this. That night, Matthew invited Jesus and his disciples to be his dinner guests, along with his fellow tax collectors and many other disreputable sinners. Jesus is our friend, and he was a good friend to Matthew. Sometimes me and my friends like to eat together too. Jesus even made friends with Matthew's other friends. The Bible calls them disreputable sinners. That means that they probably did things that people didn't like. Sins are things we do that God doesn't like. And you know what? We all sin sometimes. What are some examples of sins? Wrong things that people do. As you talk about different sins that people do, write them or draw pictures of sins on the outlines of people in your activity book. This reminds me a bit of the people that Jesus ate with. They weren't perfect, far from it. They had a lot of flaws. But there were other people around, people who were called Pharisees. Pharisees are religious leaders or teachers. And these religious leaders thought that they were perfect. They liked to judge people like Matthew and his friends, and they didn't like Jesus. Here is what they said. But when the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, why does your teacher eat with such scum? Wow, those are harsh words about Jesus's new friends. Calling someone scum is like calling them dirt or trash. Let's see how Jesus responded when the Pharisees said that about his new friends. When he heard this, Jesus replied, Healthy people don't need a doctor, sick people do. Then he added, now go and learn the meaning of this scripture. I want you to be merciful. I don't want your sacrifices. For I have come to call sinners, not those who think they are already good enough. Jesus is our friend. We can see what kind of friend he is by looking at his friendship with Matthew. Jesus hung out with Matthew even though he wasn't popular. He defended Matthew when the other people called him scum. Jesus is a good friend. On your paper, people, write friend of Jesus in big letters. You can write it over your words from before because Jesus' love for us is stronger than the sin in us. Jesus is our friend, even when other people don't want to be our friend. No matter what people say about us, no matter what flaws we have, we can be friends with Jesus. And since Jesus shows us what good friends do, he can help us be good friends to others. He can help us make friends with his other friends. Jesus is our friend, so we're good friends to others. When we see everyone as a potential friend of our friend Jesus, we'll want to show each person the kind of friendship Jesus offers. And Jesus loves us as we are, and loves all of us. Let's imagine that these two cups of water are friends with each other. We're going to do an experiment, and if you want to join me, you'll need to get two cups of water, a plate or something to make sure you don't make a mess, salt, food coloring, spoon, and some paper that's a little bit thick. I'm using cardstock. So let's imagine that these two cups of water are friends. Right now, they're the exact same, but let's change them so that they're a little bit different since most of us are different from our friends. So I'm gonna change this one by adding three big spoonfuls of salt to it. 
and then I'm also going to add some food coloring to it. So let's stir it up. Let's change this friend too and add a little bit of gold. Okay, so now we've got two friends that are different from each other. Let's see what happens when we put them together. We're going to flip the cup of blue water up onto the cup of pink water. What do you think will happen? Well, let's carefully find out. I'm gonna put the pink one on the plate, catch any spills, and then I'm gonna take my piece of paper and put it over the blue cup. And I'm going to carefully flip it upside down. Wow, look at that. They aren't mixing, but they're still friends with each other. How are these two different cups of waters like two different friends? Friends don't have to look the same or they don't have to like all the same things. They don't have to go to the same school or have families that look the same in order to be close to one another. You can be close friends with people who are different from you. When we're good friends, we bring out the best in each other and celebrate our differences. There's one more thing I want to look at today. When Jesus heard this, he said, healthy people do not need a doctor, sick people do. When Jesus said this, he was saying that the people like Matthew knew they weren't perfect and they knew they needed a friend like Jesus to help them and to forgive them. The religious leaders thought that they were perfect, so they didn't think they needed Jesus. Jesus is like the doctor who heals us from the punishment for sin, and everyone needs his help. Jesus is our friend, so we're good friends to others. Jesus showed us how to be good friends. We can be friends with people others don't like, spend time with our friends, stand up for them, stick with them, and help them. Jesus is our friend. We can be ourselves, and he'll love us no matter what. We can follow his example and be good friends to others, even people who are different than us. And one thing that's different about being friends with Jesus is he does change us. Matthew changed a lot when he became friends with Jesus. How has a friendship with Jesus changed you? Let's pray and ask Jesus to keep changing us so we can be better friends with him and with others. Dear God, thank you that you are friends with us and you help us to be friends with others. Jesus, help us to be the best friends that we can be, to love all the other people in our life and to be friends with everyone. Help us to treat people kindly and to say nice things to them. Thank you that you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hopefully, you guys have your workbooks and maybe you've already started to fill it out. If you haven't filled out this week's page yet, you should start once this video ends. Or if you don't have one yet, you can sign up to receive one at southlandlychurch.com slash kids. I can't wait to see you guys next week when we're going to continue to learn different characteristics about God and Jesus. But remember that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that means that Jesus is our friend. Got it? Good. See you guys.